Welcome to Sports Talk here on WYLN, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. We're back at it a little bit late for the 2020 season, but we are here and ready to go, getting ready for week number one of Hazleton Area High School football as they'll travel to Crestwood to take on the Crestwood Comets this Friday night. I'm your host, Marty Burns, and we are so excited to have first-year head coach Dennis Bookman with us. We'll talk to Coach Bookman right after this. Sports Talk is presented in cooperation with Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Penn State Hazleton is improving the lives of others, starting in our community. Providing degrees that meet the needs of the area. Fueling entrepreneurship and contributing more than $36 million annually to the state's economy. Researching the health of our local ecosystem on the Susquehanna River. Together, our impact keeps growing, backed by the strength of 24 campuses and 700,000 alumni. Blaze Alexander Family Dealership is very proud to become a part of the Hazleton area. Come see us in Hazel Township or visit us online at blazehazleton.com. There's Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac, and Mazda. Plus, a huge inventory of the finest quality pre-owned vehicles available, all with the Blaze Alexander lowest price guarantee. We have a long-held reputation for low prices, great selection, and top-notch service. Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships in Hazleton. We're taking the deals the other guys won't. What's on TV? Plenty. WYLN TV 35, the best in local programming. Welcome back to Sports Talk here on WYLN, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football, the season premiere. I'm your host, Marty Burns. Very excited to be joined by first-year Hazleton Area head football coach Dennis Bookman. And Coach, uh, great to have you on board. We had you on for our, our Sports Classic a couple weeks ago, and uh, uh, days away as of this recording from opening night. What's the what's your personal feeling, and then how's the team feeling? I, I guess they're ramped up, ready to go. Absolutely. I, I mean, we just got done with practice a little bit earlier. A everyone's excited. I, I mean, when you talk about where we were just a few weeks ago and all the uncertainty that's taken place for the past few months, um, our players are really excited, and you know they're ready for this year because we talked about you know at the beginning even going back when we were having off-season workouts in january february before we got shut down in march we talked about you know being a different team and changing the culture and you know taking pride in obviously the traditions and things that have gone before us so our players are really excited to be able to get to this week one contest and it's kind of, we talked about it almost being like destiny here. This is where our season ended last year. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, our seniors had to take that Cougar jersey off that final time, and we had to say farewell to them um, at the same place where we're playing week one. And we'll talk a lot about Crestwood near the end of tonight's show, uh, but I'm sure it's a different time. It's amazing how things are so different from 2019 to 2020. And uh, you know, we, we don't have to uh, elaborate too too much, but just talk about some of the things that you have to do to have your team ready and uh, stay safe come Friday. Well, first of all, it starts with, you know, our administration, being able to 
put you know protocols and guidelines in place and from there from the administration it goes down to the lehigh valley health network mike bannon and his staff the training staff they've been incredible i, I mean we screen our kids every day take temperature checks uh, players coaches alike have to do that also we have to answer a series of questions on a system called ats a tracking system for all of us um, we made sure to have limited players in the locker room mm -hmm. and be able to come out and here's the thing too with the administration the training staff our coaching staff who's been incredible the players have truly bought in because they want to play football games this yeah. year and they want to be able to compete with their friends and you know our goal and we said it from the beginning when we started our goal is to make sure our seniors get to play football games because some of these guys and we just talked about it today I, they've been preparing since they're six seven years old right. to be able to you know put the cougar football jersey on their senior year and be the guys to look to and be those leaders so we're making sure from top to bottom that we're doing everything we can to number one keep our players safe and then number two to get us on the football field okay let's get to the football part of it we'll get to those senior leaders and the, and the players in just a bit but let's first talk about as being a first year coach the staff that you put together um, absolutely uh, we wanted to make sure and we kind of talked about this on uh, the show that we did with the Valley West game, we talked about coaches of character mm -hmm. and high character and how our players in this program are second to none. So it was really important. And what better way to start that than with Coach Jim Drumheller, who's been in the program, um, the Hazleton area program, the Hazleton program before that, um, before the merger. It kind of started with Coach Drummy, yeah. uh, great man, uh, high character. And, you know, from there then we wanted to surround it with a real Hazleton feel. Guys who have coached in the program, who've played in the program, Program, who care about tradition. Um, so we, after Coach Drummy, uh, Coach Dan Deal, who's coached at every level in our program. He coached at the junior high, the freshman, the varsity level. He's kind of, um, he's coached everywhere. He's wore many hats and he's another guy of high character. Uh, we were lucky to have Coach Rick Painter stay on staff, who was with Coach Brennan before from Pottsville as our quarterbacks coach. Um, He's bought in. He loves Hazleton. He okay. said flat out from, you know, before I even had the interview when things were kind of going on and circulating, he said, I'm here. You know, I, I'm your guy. I'm not leaving. I'm going nowhere else. So it was great to be able to surround ourselves with those veteran coaches. Then we had Coach Tom Major, who was with Coach Patron on his yep. staff. Yep. So we talk about a really core group of veteran coaches who have a real Hazleton feel. Then the next... Um, idea was that we wanted to make sure that we had former players who knew what it took to win and were involved in such success from 2000 to 2010. Uh, Coach Matt Sterick, who was involved with all of those teams um, in the years in 06, 07, 08, when we made runs and won district playoff games. And, you know, he, he really has brought an energy to our program as well. Um, Coach Scott Sacco. Scott Sacco is another guy. He's involved in the community. Mm -hmm. He's He played for, obviously, those Coach Patron teams. Um, also played college football at Shippensburg. So it was important to have those kind of guys. Um, Jeff Burkowski, who played my, my year. He graduated yep. with me. Um, so it was really important that we put together you know, a staff, like I said, that had veteran guys who've been around and seen the highs and lows of the program, and also those players who've been around who know what it took to be able to get over the hump and win football games. And, you know, ultimately, like we said, we wanted our players to be surrounded by really good people, and, and I truly feel we've done that. We, we bring an energy, um, a sense of passion. Uh, a saying we have is trust, love, and commit. Mm -hmm. TLC. Uh, we definitely have a staff that does that day in and day out. And the thing I like, and, and we sort of talked about it a couple weeks ago, the history of this Hazleton area football program, and with a lot of guys that you mentioned, they can reinforce that history. Oh, absolutely. Um, we, we try to talk, um, a, as a program, we try to talk about those teams from the past. And I, I tell the story all the time because defensively, we talk about a defensive player's commitment is where he is when the whistle's blown after the play's over. We want to get 11 guys to the ball. Mm -hmm. Well, we talk about, before we do our pursuit drill all the time, we talk about Jeff Broyan. Yeah. and making that play in Burrow. And we yep. talked about that before. Yep. And, and I mean, just a selfless play there that isn't on any type of stat sheet. But he makes that play. We end up then as a program, we get a stop, yeah. and we beat a good Berwick team at their place because of selfless players like that and selfless plays. So we want to make sure that our players know who's coached before, 
who's played before them, and also who's going to be coming after them in our youth programs. It's important that we want everyone who's involved in our youth programs, in our junior high, our freshmen, to want to wear that Cougar jersey and know every time they put it on, it's really special to do. And let's start with those Cougars that are going to be putting on that jersey. We'll start offensively, mm -hmm. and whether it's right or it's wrong, no matter what level of football you talk about, they always talk about the quarterback. Kellen Warner, how important was it for him to get the experience he got last year? Oh, it, it was incredible. After, after that first game against Pottsville, he was insert, inserted as a starter, and he's never looked back. Uh, nine games last year that he was able to start. And, and the big thing with Kellen is the maturation process that he's made from the offseason until now. He's, he's the first guy in, the last guy out. He's the first one to be able to be an extension of myself and the other coaches on the field. Um, he's checking protections. He's able to be able to talk to receivers about what routes they're running, uh, backs, uh, we have different segments we have during our practices. If a back's on the wrong side or whatever for protection or a run, he's able to check them to the other side. So he's really, really matured, and we're excited to see what this year brings for Kellen. And let's go to the backfield, the leader back there, Kevin Molusky. But I know he's not going to be the only one toting the ball, but uh, to have a young man come back to be such a leader on especially both sides of the ball. He, he's the leader of our football team. We have, we have many great senior leaders. We have a senior, uh, senior leadership committee that does a great job, but Kevin Molusky is the leader of our football team. As you said, on both sides of the football, you know, he's that senior in the backfield where he's steady. You know that we could give the ball to Kevin Molesky at any time, and he's going to be able to make a positive play for us. Um, along with Kevin Molesky in our backfield, we're lucky to have Dante Mattarella, who's another senior, who's uh, a tremendous pl a player. He's, he's smart. We could put him at tight end fullback we could split him out we could put him in single back he, he kind of can do it all I told him today actually um, when we had our different periods he was bobbing all over the place I said he's like our Swiss Army knife yeah. uh, he could do everything for us which is invaluable to have as a coach and as a team um, also then we have a really nice group of sophomore backs um, Matt Bookman who came on towards the end of last year from an injury was able to carry the football Ryan Matias who also was one of those freshmen last year mm -hmm. who got so much experience and then a sophomore who's really surprised us uh, Connor Kundrat who played on the freshman team last year and he's made some big plays already for us in our scrimmage and he's made some wild plays in practice coach we're gonna take a break be back talk about the receiving core the guys that will protect Kellen Warner talk about the defense and special teams and then we'll even get to Crestwood got a lot to get to stay tuned sports talk will be right back Sports Talk is presented in cooperation with Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. Sackle Chiropractic, East Broad Street in Hazleton has the health care you've been waiting for. Whether it's a chronic issue or something new, Sackle Chiropractic has the most up-to-date techniques and therapies to help with any ailment. From his days of playing football with the Cougars and then in college, Dr. Scott Sacco has an elite understanding of sports injuries and how to correct them. Whether you are an athlete, a weekend warrior, or a grandmother, we can help with multiple issues. Call today to see why relief is super. Man, 570-497-4150. Turn your existing connected devices into motion sensors. Plume. Know your home's every move. Have an electrical problem? Call the Wire Guys. Need lights installed? Call the Wire Guys. Anything and everything electrical, big or small. Our rigorously trained licensed electricians are fully screened, always on time. Work neat, clean, and thorough. The Wire Guys, we're here 24-7, 365. All of our work is guaranteed. 
100%. When you need electrical work, you need... Two Italian Guys Pizzeria. Free West Diamond Avenue in Hazleton has all your favorites. From pizza, hoagies, salads, entrees, wings, and sides. Always made with the freshest ingredients. Call them at 570-459-2783. From the bottom of our hearts, the WYLN-TV35 family would like to say thank you to all essential workers for your service to our community and for keeping us safe. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. Welcome back to Sports Talk here on WYLN. I'm Marty Burns, joined by first-year head coach Dennis Boatman. And, Coach, we had talked about in the last segment some of the young sophomores that uh, you have coming back. Uh, you have a couple that are pretty good on the outside in the, in the wide receiver position. Absolutely. Um, we return two of those sophomores from last year who really came on for us. Uh, Matt Cassatis played both ways, actually, from basically day one. He, he was a guy that you looked at and you said, all right, this is a kid who's going to be a player in this program. Um, you know, also, Connor Shimani. Uh, you talk about a, a player who's truly bought into our program and bought into the off season. I, I mean, he's been able to grow vertically, but he's also put time in the weight room to change his body as a sophomore. Um, I say all the time that that group, we have a lot of special players, but as we talked about with Kevin Molesky in the backfield, Evan Mattias is that leader in the receiver room. He's the guy that you look to. He had the uh, fortunes of being around Jacob Hunsinger mm -hmm. and David Smith in that yep. 2018 team. So he's somebody you can line up anywhere on the field at the receiver position, and he just gets it. Um, also, Christian Price, uh, a guy who will be a junior now, who got valuable time last year as a sophomore. Uh, Mitchell Maston is another one who got time as a sophomore last year. We laugh, you know, and you look at that receiver group, and you know. Evan's the only guy we lose next mm. year. You know, the rest of that group is back, and for how valuable Evan is, and he's that kind of piece that keeps everything together, a lot of those players have a lot of really good football in front of them, we feel. And then let's quickly talk about the guys up front that will be protecting Kellen and then opening the holes for that running game. For as important as Kellen Warner is, that's how important we are up front. And we talk about that all the time, that maybe those guys aren't the ones that are in the paper every day, and they're not the ones that are, you know, being filmed on, you know, every show right, and in right. the news, and all, but they are by far the most important pieces to our offense. And, you know, you start with Jimmy Bugda at center, a three-year starter, and he's as steady as steady can be, you know. He, he street fights you. That's that's the bottom line. And then you look at Seth Hunsinger, who we moved up as a freshman. He, he's a four-year player for us, three-year starter. Uh, you look at another guy, Jason Beaver, who kind of that left tackle spot, it's been solidified and you get spoiled. You know, even when Coach Brennan was here, you, you never even have to think of that left tackle spot because Jason Beaver has been there now for his fourth year. Right. You know, um, Leo Kelly, who's coming back after starting last year. Gavin Guza, who's made tremendous strides from a junior. Now it's his senior year, and he's ready to be able to prove that he belongs on the field. Uh, it doesn't end, though, with those five. Then we have Johan Robles, who has really come on as a senior as well and who's been with us for the first time all off season, and he's tremendously progressed as well. Raymond Abreu, Chris Sachs, they're also two guys that we feel comfortable being able to put in at any point in the game. So we like the fact that we go eight or nine linemen deep, and we feel comfortable with all eight or nine of those guys. And it'll be good to keep them fresh and, and uh, keep the pressure on the defense. Speaking of defense, we won't go position by position, but your defense, I thought, near the second half of last year got better. And the thing that I, I continue to be amazed at, you know, we're, they're going to be sophomores, the three seniors that started in the, or the three freshmen that started in the secondary last year. Absolutely. They're all back. 
Uh, I mean, we, we, they're all back. We have three sophomores now in, in our secondary at both corner spots and at our safety position. Um, it, it's so nice to have when you look at our defense that blend of senior leadership and then young playmakers. We have those guys up front as we talked about. All those offensive linemen, they both play defensive line as well. Then Kevin Molesky, Dante Mattarella inside. Invaluable to have two inside linebackers, as you know, especially in the conference we play. Yeah. With such good physical running backs and such good physical offensive line play, it's important to have linebackers who can play the game of football. Um, outside linebacker, uh, we have a nice blend, once again, of sophomores. You, you look, as I said, we're basically split down the middle between seniors and sophomores throughout our defense. Every one of the, those guys can run, and they're all committed to be able to be better from last year to this year defensively because our battle cry has been if we want to win football games this year, we have to improve even more defensively than we have in the past few years. And not to take anything away from other pieces of the defense, but when things were rolling for Hazleton area football back in the day, the linebacking core Ab was strong. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's that's what we tell Kevin Molesky and Dante Mattarella all the time inside, that those two as senior leaders now, we expect them to be able to make up for a lot of mistakes that we have on our defensive front or in our defensive backfield because the linebackers in our defense are so important. And, Coach, we've got about a minute and a half left in this segment before we talk about Crestwood in the last segment. Special teams. We cannot forget about that aspect of the game. Talk about your special teams. It starts and ends with Luke Russo. I, I mean, right now, Luke Russo, the confidence that he has and that he's playing with, um, the calmness that he has. Uh, we're consistently now making 35-yard field goals in practice, and I keep telling Luke that he's the X factor. Every team we play this year, they're going to have players. We, mm -hmm. we play in a great conference, and every team is going to have athletes. They're going to have linemen. They're going to have guys that are good football players. But what everybody's not going to have is that X factor in Luke Russo, who's able to place kick for us, his kickoffs, and then being able to bail us out on offense with his ability to punt. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's so crucial for us. And uh, we talk about underclassmen, he's just a junior as well. So Luke Russo is only going to continue to get better. And from his sophomore year to his junior year, people are really going to be impressed by him. We look forward to it. Uh you know, you had such a weapon on those teams when you played in a, in a guy like Drew Orth. Yes. If Luke can, can contribute, especially with controlling field position, that's such a huge asset. It's absolutely such a huge asset that the fact, like you said, to be able to control field position, allow our defense to be able to play and uh, force offenses to drive the field. And from the offensive side of the football, we say anytime we're inside the 15 now, we truly believe we're coming away with points because of Luke Russo. Well, Coach, hang tight. This show's gone by real fast. We preview week number one and the Crestwood Comets. That's next. Sports Talk is presented in cooperation with Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton. Tri-County has been keeping your office up to speed since 1969. Everything your office needs, office supplies, personal and custom business forms, business cards, office furniture, new and used office equipment, copy, print, and scan solutions with wide format capabilities. Leasing is also available. Free off-street parking and free local delivery. Tri-County Business Machines, 117 East Broad Street in Hazleton, 570-459-0754. Family owned and operated since 1969. CARES has immediate openings for life-sharing providers to mentor and provide care in their homes for an adult with intellectual disabilities. Chris and I have known each other for 10 years and it was suggested to us that we might want to try life-sharing. We have done that and it's worked well for us. I like the experience life-share gives me in that companionship. If you would like to learn more, call CARES at 866-CARES-VIP. BLB Auto Sales, a division of Bar Bush Automotive. BLB has deals that can't be beat. They carry trucks, vans, SUVs, sedans, and sports cars, and all at the lowest prices. Bar Bush Automotive can handle all vehicle repairs since they do it all. Check out their specials, oil change and filter, just $19.95. Alignment, $49.95. Professional and good people. Call 570-454-7571. Hi, I'm Julia Wiegand, the newest news reporter for WYLN News. I'm so proud to be part of your number one local news team. WYLN News. When local news happens, you can count on WYLN News to be there.
whether it's in Berwick, Tamaqua, or right here in Hazleton. We work hard to be your number one local news station and will continue to work hard to stay number one. Welcome back to Sports Talk, the season premiere of the 2020 season here on WYLN. I'm Marty Burns, joined by first-year head coach Dennis Bookman. And, Coach, before we get to Crestwood, real quick, your schedule, uh, eight-game schedule, three of your first four on the road, yes. but the positive is three of your last four at home. Do you like the balance, or, or would you have rather maybe get that, that first home game a little bit earlier? Listen, we've said from the beginning, especially with what's going on, we'll play anybody anywhere. Um, you know, we don't want to say it out loud, but we'd play all eight on the road if we had to, just if it meant to play football games this year. It, it was great that our scrimmage was on the road mm -hmm. because things are a little different this year when we travel. But, you know, we're excited, especially to play a conference schedule. We'll have a, a true conference champion this year in, you know, a conference that has some great football teams. And, you know, it, it definitely it would be nice to play home week one. But as I said before, you know, we're also taking the challenge of going to the same place that we ended our season last year and a really quality team that is well coached and there's athletes all over the field we like to be on the road week one and you, you mentioned athletes and when you talk about Crestwood you got to talk about Ryan Petrosky uh, talk about how dangerous he can be with both running and throwing the football you know you, you watch the you watch their their scrimmage you watch last year's film and you can't help but you know just saying wow sometimes with the plays he's made. Um, I've seen him play basketball, what he's done on the basketball court, what he's done on the football field. I, I mean, he is definitely one of the best players in our conference this year, and their team starts with him, but it doesn't end there either. They have some you know, tremendous skill players that are coming back for them. Uh, Logan Arnold is another player that you know continuously makes plays on both sides of the ball for them. Uh, they have guys on the edge now, and Brendan DeMarzo at receiver. They have um, a basketball player that's coming out for the first time in a few years, Paul Feisel. Um, you know, you look all, all over their, uh, their roster and you look at the team they have and how well coached they are, and it, you know that we're going to be in for a dogfight on Friday night. And Coach Arcangeli, pretty much like you, uh, even though he was a first-year head coach last year, was around the program under Coach Myers. Do you see much of a difference between where it went from Coach Myers to Coach Arcangeli taking over uh, last year? You know, you, you can't uh, begin to express what, what Coach has done. Uh, it, just a tremendous job. Uh, coach Myers laid the foundation of that program, and it hasn't missed a beat, and they've continued to ascend. Uh, they had a great year last year. They were able to win many football games. I believe they won seven games last year. Um, and they have a lot of those same pieces coming back this year for them, as we mentioned at the skill positions, and then up front as well. So Coach has done a great job. He, he's definitely continued to transform their culture, and he has their program believing that they're the best team in our conference. Coach got about less than a minute left. I always ask this. I ask this from for Coach Patron way back in the day. What do you got to do to get to 1-0 in your opener against Crestwood? You know, the bottom line is we have to play within ourselves. Um, we talk about, uh, you know, overcoming adverse situations, and we've been doing that for a long time now in our program, um, whether it was with the pandemic, but even before that. This is a really special group, a really close-knit group. Um, we have to continue to trust, love, and commit. And the bottom line is we have to take care of the football on Friday night. We say the ball's the program, so we have to make sure that in order for us to be successful, we have to take care of the football, play within ourselves, and be a very smart team. Coach, best of luck. We'll see you next week. Thank you. For Coach Bookman, I'm Marty Burns saying so long. Join us next week as we'll have another edition of Sports Talk. We'll go over the Crestwood game. Look ahead to another road trip this time to take on the Wolf Pack of Wilkes-Barre area. And so much more here on Sports Talk, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. And we want to remind you, Friday night's game will be here on WYLN. We'll be on the air live Friday night at 7 o'clock. Cougars, Comets here on WYLN. And then join us next week for Sports Talk.